How's it? Uh, today we're going to be learning more about Photoshop and applying some text effects to some gradients, to some midtones. Uh, but first of all, you need a good photograph. Um, the photograph should be like a really, really basic plain background, like a green screen or just a wall. Or if it's already lassoed out, that's great and super. Um, you want to make sure that there's lighting on your face, at least half your face. Um, notice the lighting in this picture. Versace, um, like three-fourths of her face is shown with the lighting, so that's really good. Um, in this case, for Josh, she has um, about half her face shown. If if your face is dark from the lighting, then it won't be a good picture. So make sure that it shows up well. So I'm actually using a tutorial from Layers Magazine. It's an online website and also a magazine publication that has some really good uh, features and great way to learn uh, more. Uh, effects. So first of all we need a picture. Uh, for me one of my favorite things to do uh, is surfing. Um, this is for me going to Maui last Christmas for surfing. Really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this picture um, from that surf session. Right after the surf session my wife took a picture of me and here we go. Uh, so first what I want to do is select the shadows or the darks of the photograph, okay? So and make sure there's no lock button on there. If there is, duplicate it. So what you're going to do is go to select color range and you're going to select the shadows, okay? I'm going to hit OK. So now notice that the dark parts of my photograph are selected. Uh, now for your photograph, you can use your profile picture, your signature picture, or another one you have. Um, just don't spend a lot of time editing it. So after I select the shadow, so when I'm done with that, I should have looking like that. Okay, go back to your photograph layer. I called it me. And we're going to go up here and select color range, and we're going to choose midtones. Now, this isn't white, this isn't dark, this is those midtones. Command C, uh, create a new layer, Command V, and I'm going to call that layer um, nothing because we're going to be merging it in a minute. So, if you notice, um, that's what we have so far. There's my midtones, and there's my sh shadow. So if it looks good, like you can, if you want, you can erase parts of it. So if I don't want to show parts of my beard, I could give myself a shave just like this. Okay, a little bit too much. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm go something like that. Okay, I can decide what I want to take out. I'm gonna take out that little bit of that green because it's kind of awkward. All right, so now I think I'm good to go. So after you've edited it, you want to um, hold down Shift key and select both your midtone and uh, shadow layers. And then hit Control and click on one of those layers and hit Merge Layers. Okay, Merge Layers. Now it's in one. Okay, uh, go ahead, create a new layer, and we're gonna go Edit Fill. I'm gonna fill that white. Okay, so now we're gonna make some text. Okay, so we're gonna put, remember our picture is made up of text on ourselves. So to do that, uh, T for text, or okay, and then you're gonna choose a font that suits your style. Okay, so after you make the text, and make it about this size, you know, don't make it too big, but not too small. See, I can go a little bit smaller if I want to. Um, just keep it black. We can change the color later for now. You can use a selection tool. Make a tight selection on only the text. Hold on spacebar to move it around and then resize. Then you're going to go to, uh, sorry, image. Just joking. Okay, we're going to go. Brain freeze, have you guys have that? What we're trying to do is make this a brush. So 
Let me go to edit, define brush preset. What was I thinking? And we're gonna call this like, I don't know, brush one or something, okay? So make about four of those uh, when you're finished. Um, you don't need the original, so you can like take that out. I'm just gonna delete that. So hit B for brush, and then go into your brush presets, select what you made. Now if you just use it from what it has, notice that it's too, uh, too much uh, too much of the name. So go up into um, brush tip shape, okay, and your spacing. Take your spacing um, higher numbers, okay. Then you're going to go to shape dynamics, click on that. Notice that our, they uh, rotate a little bit. You can go scatter if you want, scatter them a little bit more. Um, if you do jitter in our shape dynamics, um, you can basically change your settings so when you brush them, it goes to certain areas. Now, uh, when we brush them, there's certain areas that you should concentrate on brushing more than others. Okay, I'm going to take this text layer, and I'm actually going to call it text, and I'm going to actually put that layer behind this layer. And I'm going to try to put in Mark Heil, or Mr. Heil, and then try to emphasize um, where the blacks are, the shadows because this definitely needs to be filled in the most. Where you see white, it's actually gonna, you're all gonna see those names there. So you don't need those as much, okay? And to help you see, you can take your opacity down from your shadows and midtones. You can see a little bit better, okay? Um, but make sure that you are brushing on the text layer. So once you get some of that, go back to your brush tip shape or brush presets and select another um, brush from your name that you chose okay and then scatter that one as well again emphasize the shadow areas and make sure that those are being covered okay and then just continue doing that okay and give me one more because I need four. And there it is. Okay, so I think we, we're good. What I'm going to do now is create a mask. Okay, so basically we have our text, and behind our text we have um, our shadow and midtones. What you're going to do is make sure you're on your text, and then you Okay, then you're going to go into your, click on your mask layer, the white square, hit option, click only on that white square next to the uh, text words, hit command V, pastes it, and then you're going to hit command D to deselect, and then command I to invert the whole thing. Now make sure you do it in that order, command D, and then command I, and then when you click on deselect it, you'll notice that it masked or cut out the words only to the shape that was selected. So now what we can do is add a gradient to it. You can add a new layer and call this gradient. Uh, next what we're going to do is add a gradient um, to over this. Go down to your layers of the f of x blending option and make sure that uh, this layer text is selected and select gradient overlay. Now gradient overlay, you're going to click on gradient and you're going to choose one that you like. Uh, this is probably the best one, these rainbow colors. If you don't like a certain color, like I don't like red, so you can change it to a different color and hit OK just by double clicking on that color to change it. And then instead of normal, notice how it replaced it. We don't want normal, we want screen because then it will allow us to see some of that text. Okay. So there we go. Now if there's some parts of your face that you want um, to be shown text, what you can do is edit the mask. Um, if you cl option click and click um, on your mask part, remember option click on the inverted mask layer, and then you hit B for brush, and just choose a brush up here that's not text, but something that's easy to work with, like I have this circle. And actually you can uh, paint stuff 
like if you paint different parts, like I wouldn't do it like that, but if there's certain parts of your body that you want, you know, more, say I want longer like hair or something. Okay, so if you paint those in and then you uh, deselect that mask, notice that it filled in the color white and then it filled in the text as well. So and then you can go in um, and continue to edit if needed. Um, so it's up to you. But hopefully yeah, the picture did a good job of um, masking it in the first place. So uh, we're almost done. So you can choose what to um, put as your background. You can do just a, do a white background layer on that. Okay. And then you can, um, some people, they like to add a gradient even to the, this background, okay? And then I can change my opacity down so it's like um, lighter. But notice that the white shows. So if that happens, you may not want to do it that way. and You may just want to go back uh, to white. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And we are all done.